Francis Thibault for another animation. Today we're gonna see an image reveal animation. So let's see how it looks like. So starting section and then I have my first image coming in and then my second and the last one. So as you can see First, the image is coming in from the right and uh, the there is a kind of zoom in and then the blur is disappearing to the left and then there is a small zoom in in the picture and a rotation. So there are several steps in this image reveal. Okay. So let's see how it's done. Um, so I have my dummy section for the starting and ending. And then I have my section for the animation. So section and container. And I have three picture wrapper. Each picture wrapper is containing an image and a cover. The, I'm using the cover to make the blur, um, let's say the blur cover. Um, picture wrapper is um, with 800 and uh, aspect ratio 3, 2 and position is relative and of course overflow is hidden. Uh, then I have an image which is position absolute with the 8 and width of 100% and a cover which also have a width and height of 100% but this one is not position absolute we don't need it's just normal and the th picture wrapper 2 and 3 uh, has have exactly the same um, construction so anything else to mention in bricks i don't think so so let's move on to the uh, animation in motion page. So, as you can see, I have uh, one timeline only and three nodes in the timeline. So the first node, so let me explain first the environment. So it's a scroll trigger. Uh, I put a toggle action always reverse and scroll backwards, but that it depends on your taste. I mean, how do you want the picture to arrive uh, and disappear? I'm using the trigger each iteration individually. This one is important. And I put uh, the starting point when it, the, the top reach 65% of the viewport. And then I left the bo bottom at 15%. So what I'm doing um, so on the Sapporo image wrapper, I first I'm doing an opacity of zero, a translate from 75 and a scale from 0 0.3 to, of course, opacity one, translate to original position and scale to one. Then I have the image cover, so the, the blur uh, uh, cover. So simply, I'm doing a translate to minus 100% of its size. So it's going to disappear from the div because it has also an over from the screen because it has the, the, the parent has an overflow hidden. So we won't see it on the left. Then there is a Sapporo image. What I'm doing is simply a scale of 1.1 and a rotation of four degrees. And basically that's it. So let's see the um, animation once again. Okay. Hope for you it's clear now how it's done. Okay, thank you for watching. See you at another tutorial.